Hey guys, it's Jeff from Pressure Luck, and you know what totally sucks? Weight struggles. One of the worst things ever, and I got cursed with one. So, here I am, always yo-yoing like a Duncan, like the butterfly or the electric, whatever, the, those fun yo-yos they used to have. And uh, I'm telling myself in this new year right now, it's time for me to kind of be good again. And I am going to eat something that's going to be absolutely spectacular and make me at the same time to trick myself actually into not realizing how well I'm eating. I'm making something called chicken chimichurri or chimichurri chicken. And what that is, it's an Argentinian herb sauce. It's basically just very few ingredients, the star being olive oil and uh, flat leaf parsley and a few spices blended in there and it makes the most amazing, amazing sauce. We also have some vinegars as well. It's picture like your favorite salad dressing, but like light and turn into an amazing, amazing, like thin, delightful sauce. It goes over chicken well, it'll go over grains well, it'll go over salad, it's wonderful. So let's bring the flavors of the Argentine and no time at all, right to the Instant Pot. Chicken chimichurri. Chimmy, 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 shimmy, 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 shimmy. So let's begin by taking two shallots and I'm just gonna roughly chop them up. And then we're gonna take, you guessed it, some chicken. I'm gonna use two pounds of either boneless, skinless breasts, which I typically always use for this recipe, or you can use boneless, skinless thighs as well. The choice is yours. Then I've just cut up into bite-sized pieces just like that. Uh, there we go, just put it in a bowl and you're done. And don't worry, Salmonella Police, of course I clean this before I put this nice clean bowl on top. Don't you worry about that. Let's move on to the pot. All right, let's get dinner started by adding two tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil, or you can use like an avocado oil if you'd like as well. Now we're gonna heat that up. So I'll come down on my control panel now, and I'm gonna heat this up by hitting the saute button, and I'll adjust it so it's on the more or high setting. On some models, you have to hit the saute button to adjust the temperatures. You have less, normal, more, or some models will say low, medium, or high, they're synonymous. Um, and others, you might have to hit a little arrow button over here that might show you it all varies on the model. And then after a few minutes of doing nothing, it'll go into its cycle, or if your model has a start button on it, which this one doesn't, you'll have to hit that to get going. And then after about a few minutes of our oil heating up, about three minutes or so, we're going to add in those shallots. And then I'm going to saute my shallots for about another two to three minutes, and they're going to soften up a bit when I do that, and they're also going to begin to lose their color. That lovely purple color begins to fade out as you saute. All right, and after about a few moments of sauteing the shallots, we're going to take our chicken and we're going to add that to the pot. And we're going to saute that for about another two to three minutes until it becomes pinkish white in color. Pretty much as soon as that chicken touches the heated pot, it begins to turn white. And we want to just give it that pinkish white color throughout. It will not be fully cooked in this stage at all. That's what the pressure cooking is for. All right, and once we're looking like this, pinkish white in color, about two to three minutes of sauteing, we are good and ready to move on. All I want to do is add in a half a cup of chicken broth to the pot. So we need enough liquid to get it going. And that will be enough for a six quart. If you have an eight quart, I would go for about three quarters of a cup to one cup because there's more volume in there. It's a wider bottom, so you have uh, more to fill up there and we don't want to have any issues with it not coming to pressure. Now you see how much liquid's in there right now? This is gonna basically double once it's pressure cooked because the chicken's gonna release its own juices. You'll see. In the meantime, let's get the lid on the pot. Sure it, make sure that we're in the sealing position. Now I'm gonna to swap to the pressure cooking function. I'm gonna hit the cancel button and then hit pressure cook. And I wanna go for four minutes at high pressure. Just adjust using the plus or minus buttons here. Or if you have a knob on your model, you'll spin that. Simple as that. Again, if I have no start button, it'll go right into the cycle. But if I do have one, I have to hit that to get going. So while my chicken's pressure cooking, I wanna focus on making that amazing chimichurri sauce. The first thing you'll need is a blender or a food processor, which basically would be impossible to make this without that, so make sure you have that. And I'm gonna first add to that a half of a cup of extra virgin olive oil. One cup of a pretty packed flat leaf parsley or Italian parsley, put that in there. Four cloves of garlic, you can keep them whole. 
one tablespoon each of red wine vinegar and balsamic vinegar, and some spices. I'm going to do one teaspoon of seasoned salt and a half a teaspoon each of cumin, of uh, garlic powder, onion powder, and oregano. And if you want to give it a little bit of a kick, it won't be very spicy, you can also use a half a teaspoon of chili powder. I'm going to put my lid on top of my food processor, and I'm going to puree that up. And that'll do it for about 30 or 45 seconds. Take off the lid and there we go, voila, chimichurri sauce. See that, look at that. Beautiful green chimichurri sauce. Just be careful getting those blades out of there. Delightful. All right, just set that aside. And now that we're done pressure cooking, we'll perform a quick release. You just move that valve now from sealing to venting. And the pin just dropped, so we're gonna take the lid off. All right, I'm gonna take a slotted spoon now, and I am going to, this is important, you don't wanna take all that broth, really. It's really just to flavor the chicken while the pressure cooks, and put all my chicken in a serving dish. Just try to keep most of that liquid in the pot, if not all of it. All right, perfect. Try to get some of the shallots in there with it if you can. All right, and now all we gotta do is lay that delightful chimichurri sauce all over our chicken. And as for the broth that's in there, you can either discard it or you can save it for another day. You can freeze this and make wonderful chicken soup even with it as a base. Up to you. So there's my chicken and here's my chimichurri sauce. I'm just gonna literally lay all of it over my chicken. And if you're doubling your chicken, you'll double the sauce. You know, it's pretty simple. If you're having it, you have it. Although I feel like one can never have too much chimichurri. Because it goes really nice on rice as well and, and cauliflower rice, grains in general, good stuff. And now I'm just gonna mix everything together here. My chicken with the chimichurri. Make sure that all the chicken is coated in this delightful chimichurri. And then once all the chicken is totally coated, you're ready to serve this up. You're gonna have some extra down there, right over, like I said, some grains, um, whatever you wanna do, vegetables, doesn't make a difference. Delicious one way or another. This chicken's actually also great in a salad. But that being said, let's serve it up. And here we go, my chicken chimichurri. Very, very excited. I love this stuff so much, here we go. Mmm. 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 <sighs> There's so much flavor going on in this, and it's really a guilt-free dish. And the chicken itself is tender, the sauce is just like flowing with flavor. I'm telling you, the Argentinians, they had it right with this one. It's one of the best things ever, and it's really the ideal thing to eat. If you're looking for a chicken dish that's on the lighter side, and uh, you kind of want to slim down a little bit, not feel so guilty, and have like a heavy chicken dish, I don't know, like a chicken parmesan or something like that, or some champagne chicken maybe, but I'll still eat that any time also. This stuff is just outrageously delicious. And it's actually, not too, and it's actually one of Richard's favorite things. I wish I could share some with him right now, but right now he's actually working. He's working very late today, like a very, very good ethical person would. So more for me. It's amazing. Also, speaking of it being lighter, it's in my lighter cookbook, the blue book. You see that? Look at that. Beautiful step-by-step -step color photos for each step and a final shot. And actually, it was captured by my photographer, Alexi, who I believe this is one of his favorite dishes. So. Uh, maybe this is why it looks extra amazing in the photo. Uh, but seriously guys, check out that book and check out this recipe. Especially if you're like me and you have some struggles with weight and you want to slim down without sacrificing any flavor. Of course, at the end of the day, it's always about portion control too, right? This, this, I'm just going to send all the excess weight to my hair right now. Because that's, I'm thinking where it's going these days. Look at that. Oof. I could be on Fiddler on the Roof or something. Or Yentl maybe. I don't know. What are the two? One's Barbara and the other one's Topol. That's fine. Mm. Guys, if you enjoy these recipes, check out PressureLowCooking.com as well, because I have a slew of recipes there, a ton. I like using the word slew lately. Slew. Get a slew. Also, uh, Facebook.com slash PressureLowCooking. Give the page a like. Uh, share it with people, because you're not going to want to miss a lot of the fun stuff that drops there, that's for sure. And at PressureLowCooking on Twitter, Instagram, Pinterest, YouTube, all that other fun jazzy stuff. Let's jazz hand it up. Thank you so much again, guys. And remember, if you want dinner, that's gonna not only taste light, but be done in a hurry. Go right to the Instant Pot and make some chicken chimichurri. That one was real easy to rhyme. Enjoy. Mm -hmm.